All right, everyone. So before we get into this video today, I really just wanted to first off apologize to all of my dedicated viewers for the lack of content that I've been putting out recently. Um, I haven't been sitting around or slacking off at it. <laughs> I've really just been busting my but at getting this Dyna done so that I can have it safety before the winter time. And it has not been a take it apart and put it back together like, you know, easy peasy, pumpkin squeezy kind of thing. It's been quite the headache. So um, that is the reason that my content has not been as regular as what I would like it to be or what it has been in the past but I want to thank everyone who's stuck around on my channel and everyone who is like a dedicated subscriber all of you guys who comment all the time and who obviously wait for my videos to come out um I really really appreciate you guys and I feel bad that I haven't put more stuff out for you guys to watch because I know some of you really look forward to seeing my videos um and I promise to get better at this whole thing once this Dinah's done probably because this Dinah's really just been a major hold up for my content. I would love to just be doing more stuff on my shovel head and documenting that for everyone to see like I was at the beginning of my channel because I actually like working on my shovel head and um, and I know that you guys like watching me work on it. I'm sure you probably like watching me work on anything. But seriously, the Dyna, most of the stuff I'm doing on this is just jobs that should take an hour or two that end up taking several hours because it ends up, rather than being, like I said, a take apart and put back together, it's like a take apart and fabricate or remanufacture or like fix things before it can go back together so yeah that's eaten up basically all of my free time all i do these days is like hang out at my dad's house working on the dyna going to work answering youtube comments and emails and sleeping so um yeah anyway guys i'm not gonna make a bunch of excuses for you all i really just wanted to let you know why i haven't been putting out more content and Thank anyone who has, like I said, been dedicated to my channel and who is always there waiting for new videos to come out. And I really just wanted to apologize to you guys for the fact that it has been so hit and miss with my video releases. Um, but I hope you guys all enjoy this one. And how about we just move on and get into this fun little video <laughs> or whatever, whatever. The video, the video, a video, it's a video. <laughs> Hello, all of my YouTube people. So I just have a really short video for you all today. Um, and it is of me on the little XT250, uh, little Yamaha that I started riding on when I very first got my bike license. It was the very first bike that I owned and rode uh, legally, uh, but even though technically the shovel head was the first bike I ever owned because I bought it when I was 16 and I didn't get my license until I was 19 or something like that. And then the XT was my second motorcycle that I bought, but first motorcycle that I owned and rode on the street. This little XT that now belongs to my nephew um, was pulled out the other day and my brother and my nephew had it started up just to kind of let it run for a little bit because my nephew hasn't ridden it for a little while and I had to take advantage of the opportunity and just take it for a little spin around the block like old time's sake and it was pretty fun actually like I kind of in a way miss it but I think that's just because it brings back memories and feels a little bit nostalgic now, but I definitely would not be able to ride that thing around and leave my shovel head parked at home. At this point, that Yamaha just feels like a little toy. Like as soon as I stood it up and I stalled it, to, 
I stalled it when I went to take off it first and I had to kickstart it and it just is so, so much different than a big Harley. It felt almost like a motorized bicycle in a way. So um, I just wanted to share that with all you guys because I know that some people have mentioned wanting to see the bike that I started out on and stuff. And um, yeah, I just thought that would be a perfect opportunity to share it with you all. So I hope you enjoy this quick little clip and I will see you all at the end. Now this kickstand, I don't miss. Yeah, but this one actually belonged to me for a while. And just like the old days, died when I stopped. <laughs> well guys, so that was me on my very first ever little XT. Man, you won't believe how many places I rode that thing around. Like I never really took it on long trips, but yeah, I've been caught in like serious downpours in the rain. I used to ride that thing all through December and January and um, I just loved it. It was so much fun and yeah, and I still love it. Like I would definitely buy that thing back off of my brother if my nephew ever decided that he didn't want it anymore. Um, I would probably just turn it back into a dirt bike though because I would like to have a dirt bike as well to add to my collection of bikes. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed watching that. I definitely enjoyed taking it out for a little old time sake, little spin around the block. And other than that, that is it for this video. So uh, like I always say guys, if you like what you see, or if you just like me, or even if you don't like me, but you like my bikes, then like this video, comment down below, subscribe to my channel, and hit that little notification bell if you want to be notified every time I put a new video out. And I will catch you all on the flip side. Peace.